wanted it to look like a documentary film. Very monochromatic to present the story in a very minimal way. So the actors and the action really stands out. Each town had to have a different feel. The first one was a town called Wichita Falls, which was at the time really quite small. It wasn't even incorporated yet. It was more like a bump in the road. The second town was Red River Station, was the last crossing point for the cattle before they went north to Chicago and they would go into Indian territories. Bonanza Creek has been a Western town that has played in multiple movies for multiple years, and this is by far the best I've ever seen it look because it looks the most accurate. David Crank nailed it with just the clean simplicity. It looks amazing. He used Bonanza Creek for three different cities. They rebuilt it and redressed it. Each one just looks so authentic. And the third town was Dallas. It was a new town of about 3,000 people at the time. So it, we tried to introduce a little more color and just scale and try to make them feel like they're bigger and bigger. I love the challenge of creating a whole world where one doesn't exist, going out and pulling all the disparate parts together and making a cohesive world. You don't really have that many cattle, and there's not a river there next to you. It ended up just being that magic amalgam of modern-day movie making. 